Shalom, it's Dila from the Kifar. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the place to be to learn Hebrew online and you can visit the kifar.com slash Hebrew to learn more. This is lesson number 17 in the Learn Hebrew Root series. The playlist with all of the videos that we have done so far is listed in the video description. And you can also find a link to a Quizlet that you can use to help you review. For this lesson, our shorish is nun gimel ein naga. And words with this shorish have to do with making some sort of contact, either physical contact like touching or making contact or reaching or arriving. Okay, so this one has a bit of a broader meaning than some of our other shorashim. So let's look at some examples. We have the pa verb lagat, which means to touch. Lagat is to touch. And we have the hif'il verb lehagia, and lehagia is to reach or to arrive. There's the masculine noun maga, which is a contact or a touch, again, this being the noun. There's haga'a, a feminine noun that means arrival, okay, related to lehagia, to arrive and to reach. And we also have negi'a. Negi'a is a feminine noun that means touch or touching. And so you may have heard this in the phrase shomer negi'a, someone who is shomer or shomeret negi'a for a female is someone who doesn't make physical contact with somebody of the opposite sex, generally outside of the immediate family. And finally, we have the adverb benogea used with the preposition le, so benogea le, meaning regarding or in regards to, okay, something that touches on a particular topic. And so you've probably noticed that with all of these words, we have the last two letters of our shoresh, the gimel and the ayin, but not necessarily the nun, our first letter. And this is a feature of roots that start with nun. We've seen something similar before with roots that start with yod, but this is the first uh, shoresh that we've covered that starts with nun. So you'll always see the gimel and you'll always see the ayin, but you may or may not see the initial noon. Okay, so now, as always, we're going to look at a couple of passages from the Tanakh where we see the Shoresh Nun Gimel Ein, and the link is included in the video description. So here in this verse from Genesis 20, we have the power verb Lingoa, and Lingoa is the same as the first word from the root chart that we looked at earlier, Lagaat. Okay, so lingoa and lagat are both infinitives that mean to touch. The conjugations are exactly the same across the board. We just have two options for the infinitive. Lagat is most commonly used. So that's the one that you'll hear almost always in everyday speech and reading, etc. cetera. Um, but both lagat and lingoa are used to mean to touch in the Tanakh. So they both have biblical roots. And then in this verse from Esther chapter four, we have the verb magia, and magia is from the hif'il verb lehagia, which is to arrive or to reach. It's translated here as came, but magia is present tense masculine singular. And as with all the roots, this one is highlighted in story 17 of my Learn Hebrew Through Stories video course. This is dinner guest part two, Oreach Laruchat Erev. You can click on the video above to learn more about the course. And there's also a link in the video description where you can check out the first unit for free. And that is all for today, Hebrew Roots lesson number 17, Toda Latsfia. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you for the next Hebrew Roots lesson. Leitraut.